Stand clear of the closing doors, please. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Denzel Porter. Right now, we uptown Bronx, New York, on 240th Street. It's called 240 Park, that's what they call it around the area, but this is PS16 Park, where a lot of us grew up at. So so this this, this school right here, I mean, it's obviously yeah. where you went to school. What, what, when, you, when you come here, what does that mean? What, what, how do you feel? Oh man, you remember a lot, I remember a lot, man. Like, I started rapping here, like, uh, there's a spot right down there um, by the, the gym, the jungle gyms and stuff like that, where uh, it was me and two other cats, we started, um, like, you know, Saying beating against the the the, uh, the gym and like you know started making some rhymes like coming here daily. I was like in third grade or so, you know, and I kept going. Man, a lot of stuff happened uptown. Like it's a whole culture uptown. Uptown is like packed full of uh, it's a melting pot itself. You know what I mean? Like you, you you hear about the Bronx, you hear a lot about um. Hispanic people, Dominicans, and, and you know, but when you come uptown, you got Jamaicans, you have your Guyanese, you have your Italians, you have your, you know, you got Katona Avenue right there, you know what I mean? So it's like, it, it's a whole different kind of thing when you come to the North Bronx. Man, so far, like, I had some, uh, hold up, the choppers. Choppers <laughs> making noise and shit. <laughs> That's the Bronx. <laughs> but, um, like, uh, I had a lot of blessings, man. So far, like, meeting with dudes like Sam Crespo, you know, when the music, when you get your music out there and you get it actually in the right places, because, like, a lot of us up here, uptown, we think we're famous already, you know what I mean? It's not just it's not just uptown. That's everywhere I go. I, I, I get the same kind of, like, community. You know, they got their own hood stars and stuff like that. But when you get yourself in the right places, um, you start to get recognized. And the recognition is a blessing itself, you know what I mean? Especially when you're coming from a place that's not really recognized or outshined by another part. I feel like we, we're, we're heavily outshined by the South Bronx, which is cool, but you know, we gotta do some work. <laughs> so, um, French Montana just came out with an album, right? So what, what does that mean for the Bronx? What does that mean to you oh, being big. from the Bronx? That's big. I feel like French Montana is like a superstar for the Bronx. He's not just a like a rapper. You know what I mean? He's a superstar for the Bronx. Like he's about to reach another level. So when when his album dropped, that's big. It brings a lot of attention to our area itself, not just the South. It's the whole area gets that attention. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I met you a couple years ago. Yeah. Like four or five. It's been a minute. So it's been a long time. So I remember when I first started, you were you going by Young Play. Oh, you ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> you go by Yo Flame. So I, I, I'm not gonna ask you, you know, what was that name from? I'm not gonna ask you that. I'm not gonna That's go that far. Block, uh, so what? What other names you was going by? I mean, if you were oh, Denzel Porter, what? Who would else would you see, be? See, since we out here at Pier 16, man, like uh, fourth grade, I had this teacher named Mrs. Badafino right there in the um in the, in the little building right there, and he 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 put me in front of the class. He made me spit something and we didn't have no name and he called me DZ, like on the spot, DZ, D-E-N-Z-I-L, so DZ, huh? and then since then, you know, all my original boys, they, original boys, <laughs> all my homies, you know, they call me DZ, you know what I mean, so, that's another name, I don't want to tell y'all what my grandmother called me, that's it. <laughs> Pookie? Like Pookie? No, no, nah, no, nah, you're taking it too far, she's Jamaican. <laughs> So, I mean, talk about, talk about your background, your heritage. I mean, talk, talk about that for a little oh, bit. Oh, man, the heritage is crazy. I love it. The culture, uh, my parents are born in Jamaica. You know, I was the first one born here. Uh, well, one of them. Um, so right now, I, I feel like I got a lot of weight on my shoulders to carry the family thing. But, I mean, the culture is crazy from the food to the people. I go there every year, man, just to make sure, just to visit the family and stuff like that. So. And it does play a heavy part in my music because, like, my performance throw a lot of energy in my performance because that's, like, how we do it. Um, uh, with my lyrics, the way I uh, perform my lyrics, the way I um, record, it's really, like, energy and uh, the vocals and how I throw my voices and balance them up and down. I get that from, like, Caribbean artists, you know what I mean? Because that's what I grew up listening to. A lot of Bob Marley, a lot of uh, Pudra Bantan, 
Coco T and Dennis Brown and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, and watching them perform is energy, you know, so that's where I get it. Storytelling. I, 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 I really base it on storytelling because I realize that when you, when you tell stories, the way you captivate people with that and then you catch them with that one line at the end of that fourth ball or at the end of that eighth ball or at the end of that sixth ball, you catch them with that line. Within that story, I call it alley-oops, you know what I mean? Like, I could give you a story in two bars, you know? So it's like, I, I base my style off of storytelling and, and that's that's how I do it. Right. Now, you just did a track with um, 360, right? Yeah, so yeah. You did a track, did a video, so it's the Queens versus the Bronx. Do you really <laughs> feel that way? Just... I, you know, it, like, if you really listen to my lyrics, like, I, I just couldn't, couldn't. Couldn't violate Queens, man. <laughs> I got boys out in Queens. You see what I mean? So I just had to like direct focus on the Mets, like you know what I mean, like and, and take certain type of ways around it. But it was a it was a smooth move, you know what I mean? So I hope 360 don't feel that way about the Bronx. So we got some good girls out here in 360. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. So now um, you did a couple tracks with Omen last year, yeah. and you talked about I think it was on the Suede interview. You talked about doing some work with Omen. What's going on with that project? Well. Right now we have about we got a couple of, we're a couple of songs in and it's coming out dope and I feel like this is like the demand and you know we started this project like you know we started recording probably like around last year and I think the timing is right because right now the demand is getting there and it sounds like the demand is what we've been working on you know what I mean which is gonna give me some time you know so once that shit releases I feel like we're right on point. find success. I guess that's when everybody's eating, man. I got a lot of mouths to feed. <laughs> when everybody's walking on their own two feet. Not even when everybody's eating, because that sounds like, you know, you're feeding people. So, get that. When everybody's on their own two feet in my circle, man. When family's right, you know, traditional thing. I gotta check out Porter's Park, man. I really need y'all to dig that concept and really understand it, because people see the title and they don't really understand. Oh, is he dissing drama? No, I'm not dissing drama, man. Just throw the record on and listen to it. Listen to what he got to say. Um, and try to get try to get that concept from it. If you're an artist, take that concept from it. Make your music dope. Try not to depend on cosigns and stuff like that. Work on your own craft for now. Make sure you, you know what your future's about. That was the beat. Sometimes you're in the studio and that beat start knocking and you just like, you already know what to talk about. You know what I mean? I, once the beat started going, I already knew she's doing with that piece Smith and they got too much power. Four or five, you know what I mean? I already knew where I was going with it, you know what I mean? And uh, with the North Bronx, uh, one thing that's heavy around here is uh, the stick of kids. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stick of kids up here and, and it's a, it's a kind of like a way of life, you know what I mean? From the 90s till now, you know what I mean? So it's like, a, it's a story of, probably you could say it's a story of someone from around here. It's a regular story, you know what I mean? A regular story, yeah. people die from this stuff every day. Right, so now, like, now, <laughs> so look at kids, uh, on the planes, right? You had yeah. a video on the planes and you, had, you showed that life. You kind, yeah. of, you kind of depicted that. So did that ever happen to you? Because you're talking about stick up kids a lot. I mean, did you ever get stuck up? No, no, I never got stuck <laughs> up. Don't say, don't jig me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, nah, I never got stuck up, man. I, uh, nah, I never got stuck up. Sorry, man. So, <laughs> were you one of those stick-up kids? Huh? Were you one of those stick-up kids? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but I was heavily around them, man. And you know what I mean? Like, where I grew up at, right there on 238th Street, like, uh, a lot of people can tell you about 238th Street. And um, that happened. Uh, there's a lot of stick-up kids in the area. You know, I don't want to talk to Listen to Bishop, man. <laughs> I got you, got you, got you. All right, I mean, any, any last words for the people? Anything else you want to say? Man, um, I got to say, shout out to Rec House, that's the family, man. Shout out to Uptown, that's the place I'm at. Denzel Porter, Bronx, New York, man. Signing out. Shut
shout out to ExclusiveZone.net, you stay right there. That's funny, that's Mr. Spadafino right there too, yo. That's Mr. Spadafino. <laughs> it is. <laughs>